Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of a fun one. There are some products that kind of get forgotten about and kind of hidden in the back of the drawer. So I went into my makeup drawer today and I shopped my stash. And so I'm gonna be putting on a full face of makeup that I haven't used in a while. As I was looking through all my makeup, there were some things that I was really excited about to try again. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go in with this product right here. This is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It's a primer, concealer, highlighter. Um, you can kind of use it for any one of those. We use this as a base for our foundation. Um, I remember using this product and I wasn't too impressed. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a whirl. It also has that like sponge thing <laughs> that they also have on their concealer that I'm not a huge fan of. I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand. Ooh, the water is coming out. I don't know if I like that. Getting is like water, and I'm like rubbing it in, and there's like nothing there. Maybe I need to shake the product up. I'm gonna give it a nice shake. You can see like the cap is like just has like water in it and stuff. I'm just gonna like kind of stamp it in there to get the product out. I'm actually just gonna take like a foundation brush and um, start applying it. Also, sorry about the hair if it looks messy. Um, I try to avoid washing it as much as I possibly can take it before washing it. I also have my postpartum hair growing back. It's like starting to really show now, so. You know year later hair grows really slow and so when I opt to cut it short it's like a big commitment because I know how long it will take me to grow my hair back out long alrighty it's definitely giving some glow to the skin we'll just have to see how it wears with the foundation that I picked out is the KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I actually have two shades here because when I purchased, um, I think, I don't know what shade I purchased first, but anyway, one of the shades, was, it was either too light or too dark, so I purchased another shade, and that shade was a little bit too lighter for me. So we're going to mix the two. I know a lot of people rave about this um, product. I wasn't too impressed and that's kind of why a lot of these products have been kind of been forgotten about because they just didn't impress me enough to stay in my makeup um, rotation but we're gonna give it another go guys so I'm just gonna like I said I'm just gonna mix the two I'm really gonna take some of this shade really quickly here and I don't remember how much I need <laughs> so we're just gonna do like a little bit of each on the face all right, oh, I think I got a little bit, I did my brush in first and then decided that was a bad idea. So I have a little bit of the other, sh the lighter shade um, on my brush here. So let's try to, it's not a bad foundation. I just want a little bit more of a natural finish and this isn't giving me like a natural finish. It's definitely a little bit more um, drying, dry looking on my face and this is my favorite. I mean, obviously, you know, foundations are going to work on different, everybody differently because we all have different skin types, but I was really excited for this foundation and this foundation is expensive. And so having to buy, having to head bought two because I got the wrong shades, you know, it's like, I want it to be worth it, but it just hasn't been worth it. So I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of press this out and see if maybe we can um, get a better finish with it. Okay, so I am noticing that the foundation is sticking to my nose um, and making it look a little dry. My nose is currently peeling. Um, I decided to go a little um, hard with the blackhead situation. But usually when I wear foundations, like it doesn't show that much or maybe I'm peeling more than I thought I was. But either way, other than that, like after blending it out with the sponge after using the brush, it's looking a little bit better. Um, it's, you know, it's not terrible. It will just depend on how the other products lay on top of it, which I'm kind of nervous about. 
here I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is actually a really good concealer and I just, I'm loving my NYX Bear With Me Concealer and so I haven't used this concealer in a hot minute so we're going to go ahead and apply this but I remember loving this one and I'm not too impressed with it right now. I don't know. We will have to see. For powder, I'm going to be using this um, translucent loose setting powder from Red Aspen. This is a really good setting powder. The one thing that I don't like about it is, is that I like bright under eyes. I don't like it when my setting powders, first of all, I don't like my setting powders to look dry under the eyes. I want it to be basically not visible at all. Um, and I don't want it to emphasize that texture or dryness under my eyes, but I also don't want it to dull the under eyes. And I just feel like, I don't know, it does, it does a great job. Like, I have a hard time getting rid of this powder because of the job it does, and I'll show you why. So I took some powder just on my sponge, and I'm literally just gonna go in and set the under eye. Do you see the difference? Like, it literally like puts like a filter on your face, but I just feel like it kind of just takes away from the brightness because you can see like the brightness on this side versus this side. You ready? You can see how it just like, I don't know guys, it's, I would say that this, I would use this powder for a more natural look but I just have a hard time getting rid of it because I like the way that it make my makes up look look like it gives me a good like filter effect on my face so good it doesn't look heavy on the face um I look a little bit dry though um and so I hope that that will the makeup will kind of settle in and not continue to look too dry on the face so for a bronzer slash contour, I'm gonna be using this Natasha Denona Sculpting Powder. Now I do a pretty good job of rotating through all of my bronzer and contour products. And so this isn't something that I haven't not used for a long time, but it's been a couple weeks. So we're gonna go ahead and use this product. A blush. There are two blushes that I haven't reached for in a while. The first one is from ColourPop and Disney Collection. This is the Enchanted Mirror Blush. This is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty rose Revlon. This is the, let's see, in the shade Apricot. I'm sure I said that wrong. And it came out of my mouth and it sounded weird. Um, oh, and then the lid just popped off. This is what it looks like though. It's very similar to um, Enchanted Mirror. You can see, so this one's a little bit deeper than this one, but they are definitely in the same family. You know what, let's hold off on blush and let's do the eye look first. Oh, an eyeshadow palette that I haven't reached for in a long time, but I used to love. It is the She's Got Solstice from ColourPop. And I, I love this palette. I definitely love this shade right here. Super Stardust and it is their Super Shock Shadow formula. I think the first shade that I'm gonna go into is Nova. This is a great transition shade. That is such a nice shade. I haven't used this palette in forever. A while now I just I get too excited about other palettes and then you know other ones in my collection I just kind of just kind of forget about <laughs> this is actually a fun way to like get reacquainted to some of my other you know loved products that I kind of forgot about the shade I'm gonna go into is earth angel and I'm just gonna take that and I'm going to start kind of pressing and packing that product in the outer corner kind of bringing it up a little bit this is a really pretty color. I like the pink in it. It just makes it like a really unique shade. Okay, that is really pretty. I'm liking how this is looking. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of, what is this shade called? Chromosphere right here. 
just to deepen the outer corner a little bit more, kind of make it look a little bit more smoky, literally just on the outer edge, like not even going all the way up like I did with the other shade, but just just deepening it, deepening it enough. I'm kind of taking it and kind of like blending it up and out. Oh, I'm gonna swatch this shade for you guys so you can see it because this is my favorite shade in the palette. Let's see here if it will swatch well. But do you see like just oh, um on the lid and just pressing that in. Oh good, I love this shade. I'm the shade's so serious. It's just a little bit of a lighter shade and we're gonna put that in the inner corner. I'm going to go in with a brush, just like a really tiny brush to go in with that. And this is just gonna add some highlight to the inner corner, but then we're gonna kind of marry that and the Super Shock shadow together. Like, do you see that? So pretty. We are gonna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with Nova again, that shade that we first used as our transition shade. Use a blush. Again, we have Enchanted Mirror and we have a Percute Enchanted Mirror. This one is just a little bit too pink for the eye look. This one has, you know, more of a nude undertone. So we're gonna use that one. Does anybody else have to like turn their head different ways when they put on their, their cheek products? I think it's because we can't see like, you know, our whole side of our face, like unless we go like this, but I feel like giving, turning my head helps me get it into different angles that I wouldn't really be able to do otherwise because I don't know. Does that even make sense? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Go ahead and put mascara on. I'll be using the L'Oreal Bambi mascara. And I have not used this one in a while. It's a really good mascara, um, but I just have other favorites. And so this one um, just got kind of pushed back in the back of the drawer. I'm really trying really hard not to do the face that everybody does. I more like to tip my head up because it helps me see some of the lashes that are a little bit more harder to see looking like this way is that it really helps us separate my lashes and give me that like bambi eye effect that's why they call it the bambi mascara so i did my brows off camera i don't have a brow pencil or brow product that i don't not use like the benefit precisely my brow pencil is like my go-to tried and true loved favorite brow pencil and so all the other ones I'm just like I don't need them get rid of them but I do have other um ones that I think are good this is just the one that I love so I will leave other options for you but this is a great eyebrow pencil and there's nothing else that I feel is better than it I'm going to go in with the um Revlon blush where's my blush brush here is just so that I can kind of deepen the cheeks a little bit I just feel like just don't got enough on the cheeks here. I want to kind of keep this up a little higher though. Okay, for lip liner, this is one that I absolutely love. It's such a good lip liner, um, but I just have been using other lip liners that I love, and this one I just kind of forgot about. But this is from NYX. This is their Slide On Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. So. It'll be good. And it's nice and creamy, so it's going to glide on the lips really well. Like, she's just perfect on her own. Like, if I just put, like, a gloss on this and be done. But I did have a lip product that I haven't reached for in a while, and I thought it would look good with this um, eyeshadow look that's going on. But this is from L'Oreal. This is in their, like, liquid lips stain or something like that. Like, it's, like, not a liquid lip, but it's, like, I don't know, the... Formula is thinner and so it like, I don't know. Anyway, it's good. This is in the shade I create and it's more of a nude shade and I'm literally gonna put this. I almost forgot highlighter, okay. <laughs> this product, I don't ever use it and there's a reason being, but I keep it because I just think like there's gonna be that occasion where I'm gonna need a product like this and 
Um, I think the packaging is cute. This is from e.l.f. They did a collab with Nabella Noor a couple of years ago. Anyway, I just think the packaging is really cute. Look, when I open it, it's just, it's just everywhere. It's a mess. But, okay, first of all, that is like beaming. Do you see that? Intense highlighter. But the one thing that is just a little bit downside of it is because I tend to like more of a wet looking highlighter and not so much glitter. And this is definitely one of those glitter products. I, I, I know, I think I know why the reason why I kept it um, also was because I liked it for like, if I wanted like my eyeshadow to really pop, this is a great product for that. All right, um, that's a lot. <laughs> so we're literally just gonna tap that off. You can see all that dust, maybe you can't, I don't know. Um, and then we're just gonna like apply that to the cheeks. And it's just like, it's so intense guys. <laughs> and it's really glittery. Like I, like I said, I'm not one for a really glittery highlight. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge just to kind of calm it down a little bit. And that really helped. It's not so glitter anymore and it like blends into the makeup better. She is glowing. And then I'm gonna put some on the nose. Let's just draw attention to that uh, flaking nose, shall we? <laughs> But above the eyebrows here, let's just, let's just put it all over the face. <laughs> no. <laughs> Setting spray that I haven't used in a while, and honestly guys, it's probably expired. It is the um, Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. Is, is it expired? Yeah, it's definitely expired. I would say my son was probably close to two years old and he's just turned four. So yeah, it's a little expired, but we're gonna go ahead and use it today. It's two years old, guys. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna make sure this spray works. Okay, that's not even towards my face at all, hold on. I think my direction of my camera changed a little bit. I, I record on my phone and so my alarm just went off and I had to re like reset everything. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I let that um, setting spray kind of dry halfway, and now I'm just taking my sponge to kind of press the rest of it in. So that is my makeup. My skin is actually looking a lot better once I got other products on it and I used my sponge to kind of really press the makeup together and then we use that setting spray. Happy with that. My eye look, I love. Guys, there's one thing that I have to tell you to buy from this video it's this palette right here this is such a fun palette and I love the super shock shadow in that palette I have two other ColourPop palettes um, and they both have super shock formulas as well um, or a you know shade in there as well but this one this one's my favorite I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to be notified of future videos that I upload, subscribe down below. I love you guys. This was such a fun video to make. I will have to do this more often in shopping my stash. I don't know if I need the ear quotes. I don't know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.